Well, hello, everybody. The History Guy here, and I'm ready to dive into the campaign here on Unity of Command 2, which will be released on November 12th, 2019 on Steam. There's a link in the description below that will take you to the page. Uh, it's not released yet, but you can still go to the Steam page and prepare to buy that uh, or pre-order it. And uh, so we, we're going to continue our sneak peek. Uh, we took a first look at the game and kind of did an overview, uh, and that is already available. I'll put the link in the description below for that as well for my first look. But we're going to start the Victory in the West campaign. We'll go on normal difficulty. I have not yet really played the campaign. I, I very briefly looked at the first mission uh, in my first look, but we'll go ahead and watch the overview. So we're see seeing the events in the Eastern Front in the original Unity of Command game that lead up to where we take over as the Western Allies. We begin by pushing him out of Tunisia, and then we're going to push into Italy and start the advance up before we get a chance to deal with Normandy and Operation Overlord. So a lot of these battles are relatively small, so I don't know if we'll just do one mission here or if we'll get to do more than one. We'll see. These are the final battles of North Africa, and now we've got some campaign decisions to make. We've got 150 prestige points, and I haven't played the game enough to really know where we want to go with this, but uh, we've certainly got some theater assets available to us. Uh, this one's free, so we're definitely going to take advantage of those Lancaster bombers, but anything beyond that's going to cost prestige and I'm not sure that I want to actually spend the prestige right now so we'll go with the free one but beyond that I think we'll just go with what we've got let's do this All right, our forces are converging toward a link-up in central Tunisia. The U.S. Second Corps and British First Army are trying to force the passes uh, of the eastern dorsal range and then cut off the Axis line of retreat from the Wadi Akarit. Uh, be wary of overextending your forces, though. At this stage in the Desert War, there's no need for unnecessary risks. So let's keep that in mind. We also need to remember supply, which is a new feature in Unity of Command. So it's not a relatively large battlefield. Uh, and mainly, we just want to take advantage of places where we're going to have an advantage. So let's take a look real quick at the supply issue. I mean, everybody's in supply right now, uh, at least up here. But if we try to get around here too much, we might find ourselves not in supply. So I guess we probably want to push through right here. Uh, that's where we want to take first. Sfax and, and Fidaville are our two main targets. Sfax right here. I'm not even sure where the other one is. Oh, it's up here at the top. That shouldn't be too hard to take, I wouldn't think. So we're going to pretty much ignore the south, I think, for the most part. Uh, we've got this Lancaster saturation strike. I think we're going to hold off on using that until the time comes. Uh, right now we're doing prepare for battle. So. so we see the kind of area of responsibility of the different groups of units right now. All right, so here we go. Our two main objectives right here and right here. Just got to protect supply. Our main supply is coming in from right here, and then it kind of distributes all the way along the path from there. So we've got to make sure that we protect this. This area here is kind of weak. Uh, so I'm going to keep this armored unit back here just to protect what's happening and make sure he doesn't sneak back there and cut off my supply to everybody because I can kind of see that being a possibility here. So we're going to go right here in the center while we try to push through here and push up maybe from right here and just kind of sit tight right here. We've only got a narrow attack window right now, right here, but it looks like it's pretty good. Nice. 
nice. Oh, he just up into there. He's got to be careful with that because of supply issues. That doesn't look good. That doesn't either. Oh, look at that. It's all the way up in there. Even better. Nice initial breakthrough. Doesn't look like anybody's going to have much luck against these guys, though. So we're just going to have to sit tight with that for now. I don't want to lose this unit, so I should be kind of careful with that. I'm going to bring these guys down right to there. British 46th Armory uh, Infantry Division. 46th Infantry. I don't know why I said Army. Doesn't look like I can have much success with any of these units, though. So we're probably just going to have to sit tight with everybody there. All right, I think that's probably about all I can do right now. No. Yeah, we're going to sit tight. We've got to take Fonduke past by turn three for a bonus objective. I'm just not sure that's going to happen with the units that I've currently got. He's got his own air power. Oh, he's pulling back over there. Oh, one unit in su supply disruption. Where's that? And it doesn't look like it's any major disruption wherever it is. Oh, it's... That's one of his units. We could come in behind these guys and destroy them. I don't know if I want to do that, though, when I could be pushing up through here. All right, let's see how this goes first. All right, a bit here. Some prisoners. That's nice. Nope, not going to do that. Definitely not going to do that. We're going to have to surround this guy before we can do anything to him. Let's go ahead and use our bomber. These guys. Hello. Okay, that might not be good. We got him cut off from supply, though, so that's helpful. I guess we're kind of stuck right there for now. We're still not going to take Fayed Pass, though. Hey. There's a bonus objective taken. I don't know if I want to use the card, though. I like having the prestige. Uh, supply transport or HQ motor pool. That's free, so let's go ahead and use that. We've actually got four of those now. I don't want to use that card. I just want to hang tight without that, I guess. I guess we just hit escape. No? So I guess we can spend it for 40 points, or we can just um, drag it over here and get the points for it. Okay, that's what we do. So we get six, 16 prestige by not using it. All right, let's put those cards away now. Maybe I could have just sat there with it. Eh, I'm learning. I'm new to, new to the game. I guess I could have just put the cards away and kept it right where it was. That's probably what I should have done. But for now, that's where we are. I'm having a hard time figuring out a way to break through here without too much trouble. All of these units just seem too strong for me so far. Let's get in here and... Uh, i got to keep these guys right where they are. I've got to protect that pass. I think I've used just about. Nope. 
And nope there. Okay. Tell you what, these guys are uh, making it tough on me for sure. We got to get to turn four. We've got to take Infidaville, and we're just not getting there. Maybe we just kind of bypass this guy. I guess that's maybe what we got to do here. Units on the map out outside of supply network. Where would they be? Right there. Okay. So let's deal with that. Can we add a new supply hub somewhere? Yeah, we can put one right there. And we hit enter to accept that. There we go. Nice. So now we're back in supply. All is right with the world. Who's still out of sight of supply? This guy. Okay. So now we've got to expand our supply network. There we go. All right. Still learning. A lot to learn to get caught up on the new supply system on this game. I just he just drove right past me. That's why I was keeping that back there in the first place. So you can see now this whole area is cut off, so we've got to deal with that. We're gonna start. And that did nothing. So we're going to have an issue there for a little while. But now so is he. I'm going to keep just moving. I should have been doing this from the beginning, just moving right past this guy. So we could cut him off. Be careful here, there's another potential issue. All right, I think I'm going to send these guys. Actually, you know what? I'm going to land right on that supply depot. Just because I'm afraid to leave it and run into the same issue I just had. I think that's pretty much all we're going to be able to do here. Who's out of supply now? These guys. Well, that's no surprise. Everybody's out of supply because of that. in there that I didn't see. They really just messed me up. Alright. Pulled that guy out and brought him down here, it looks like. We failed a couple of uh, bonus objectives. Oh, that's him here. Okay. I just want to make sure he doesn't sneak past me again. All 
Anyway, we're kind of back to the drawing board down here. I thought things were going well, but he just really messed me up. Nice. That helps. We could go all the way in here, although I don't know how smart that is. I was warned about overextending. This gets us within sight of that objective, but almost certainly gets me cut off in the process. All right, is there anybody I can deal with the supply? Yeah, I think I can. Uh, not there. This is probably going to get cut off. I don't know if this is smart to do this or not. But we're going to try it. Oh, I've got a unit right there. I should be good. Okay, that helps. The prettiest battle, but it is my first, and I do think I'm going to be able to win. Okay, let's, uh, let's use this. Uh, we got supply issues. There's an objective taken. We still got these guys. These units finally attackable because we've got them cut off enough. Now we've got an issue with supply there. Let's go back and deal with that. Maybe. Objective. Oh, super cut off there. Oh, hey, upgrade. Didn't know that was a thing. That's very cool. So let's upgrade the second core. This is uh, General Patton's unit. We can do specializing. Oh, there's you can actually get a paid option. Huh, that's kind of interesting. Add a command point. Increases the number of command points it receives at the start of each turn. Oh, yeah, I guess we're going to have to spend prestige if we want to do good things, huh? 30 prestige points is worth it to get that extra command point, I think. Okay, where are we at on supply? We've got two units that are not currently in supply, so we're going to have to deal with that. And again, there's nothing we can do to change it, it doesn't look. All right, we're just going to have to go a turn without it, try to solve that issue. We lost a unit KIA because of supply issues. Eek, that's not good. Get him out of there. Or 
not. There we go. Okay. Yeah, there's nothing we can do there. We're going to have to pull these guys back for now. Oh, hello. Where can we add a supply hub that's going to help? Right here? I mean, we've already got one over here, but yeah, I think that would probably be helpful. Still, still having issues though. All right, so we've still got these two objectives we need to take. We lost Enfiteville, so now we've got to take it back again. There we We got a cutoff in our supply right here. That's kind of an issue for us. And I'm in no position to do anything about it at the moment. Should have sent somebody back to deal with that. He's pretty well collapsed in the south. Okay. Where does that leave us? Still with some issues up north. Not a lot we can do about that on this turn. Trucks available, air attack. Oh yeah, we gotta use the air attack. some of our folks back in supply. All right, this one should be winding down. We've just got one more main objective to take and just, just a couple of turns to do it. Okay. 
Objective taken. Probably not a lot of reason to worry too much about moving these guys up, but we're going to do it anyway. Oh, we still have our air attack. i got to keep remembering to use that. Should be on our final turn now. Jerk. Objectives completed. You are victorious. All primary objectives completed, and there are no more bonus objectives left. Left. Uh, now there's no reason. To so we got an 82 score, uh, 20 units KIA, 26 prisoners. Uh, you can see the percentage of losses by the various armies. Uh, congratulations. All right. Now let's see what happens in this scenario as we move forward to the battle for Tunis. Um, I guess not a lot. We're just looking at. We can look at our general staff under George S. Patton uh, and what we've got available to us, range and movement, force pool. Uh, as they level up, new things become available to us. And we're on to the Battle of Tunis. So let me know your thoughts. Use that comment section below. Uh, as I said in my first look, which you can check out in the link uh, in the description below, it's a game that has a lot of depth, but at the same time doesn't feel like it has an overwhelming learning curve. Obviously, there's a lot to learn, and I've got a long way to go to do that. But it doesn't seem, you know, overwhelming. Uh, so if you're looking for a game that's got a good mix of deep strategy and has a campaign, but also doesn't seem completely overwhelming, this might be the one for you. So check it out when it comes out on November 12th. Thanks for watching.